KTC Radio Detroit. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, www.wvtcradio.com, or download our WVTC app from the Play Store for Android users and the App Store for iPhone users. tuned to WVTCRadio.com and the Sandy Rose Show with your host, Sandy Rose, where you'll hear the finest in gospel music and information you can use. The Sandy Rose Show can be heard every Tuesday from 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So get your pencil, paper, and your shouting shoes as you listen to today's broadcast. Why not text a friend and tell them to listen, too? for the creation of this vast universe. You reach down with your omnipotent hand unto the great abyss of nothingness and threw nothing out into nowhere and nothing became something. What a world we live in. Look at this world. It's gigantic and it's grand Mountain heights with scintillating views, valleys scooped out by eternal hands, rolling prairies, running brooks, rippling streams blessed with gold, silver, diamonds, and all kinds of precious minerals. My soul sings when I look and see how God splashed a multitude of stars kissing the heavens like diamonds sprinkled against black velvet and hanging like trapezes from the roof of God's gymnasium. You place the moon and announce for the world to hear, this is the queen of the night and she has never stopped shining. The oceans whose depths have to be measured in miles. The sun has never run out of gas. The stars keep coming out to play. The seasons still march in splendid succession. My God is real. He is from everlasting to everlasting. He even looked around one day to see what he had created and said, that's good. one day when he brings everything to consummation and a glorious fruition when he comes with a shout of acclamation to take me home what joy shall fill my heart when he calls me I will answer and 
I will bow in humble adoration and my soul will say, how great, how great thou art. For I know I have a house of many mansions, eternal in the heavens, up where Jesus lives, up beyond the atmosphere, the stratosphere, the exosphere, the troposphere, up where I'll never grow old, up to the streets of gold, up beyond the vicissitudes of life. And I will honor him as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and simply say to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever, and forever, and forever. My God, how great thou art. God in heaven, we do bless your name today. You are a great God, and we're glad that you are our God. We thank you for our life, health, and strength today, and a day that we've never seen. You brought us over the highway safely through a little rainstorm, but you brought us safely, just like you said you would. You keep goodness and mercy following us as we go through our day, and we bless your name. Now, God, we ask just you would have your way. Bless your people everywhere. Meet the needs according to your will and help us to be open and receptive to your will, obedient to your will. Have your way, God, today. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We declare and decree that you have your way, God. And we'll never cease to praise you. We'll never cease to thank you. We'll never cease to serve you. We'll never cease to love you. Enough for all that you've done. Thank you. Now bless today as only you can. And it is in your precious but powerful name that we pray. Amen. And thank God.
Malo. <laughs> Can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. Can't stop. Praising his name. What is his name, Jackie? Jesus. Jesus. Oh! Jesus. 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 He's the only one that can help you. That was Keith Pringle. Keith Pringle. Keith Pringle. And I'm sitting here and I really need to go and um, turn my lights on. <laughs> I've been sitting here in the dark, in the dark, in the dark. But we are so you can see me. Okay. Well, I'll turn them on on the break. I'll turn them on on the break. But good afternoon to everyone. You, you, and even you. This is the Sandy Rose Show, and I am Sandy Rose, and we have Jackie Williams. All right. And we have Jackie Williams with us today. Um, Juliet is being remedial and she is trying to get on, but um, we, we're praying her strength in the Lord. We are just praying her strength in the Lord that she mm -hmm. might make this journey that she needs to make. We have so many with us today. And this is a special show. This is a special show. And who's our guest today, Jackie? Keith Pringle. Keith Pringle. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Detroit native Keith Pringle. And we Can't will stop have praise his name. Can't stop. I mean, you know, you watch that video. Whose church does not sing that song? I, I don't uh, uh, probably uh uh probably uh uh, uh the Catholic uh, people sing that. So the, so, the Methodist so, people. Some of them, some of them don't sing that song. I'm telling you, the Methodist people, everybody sings that song. <laughs> that is a gospel standard, a gospel standard. Um, we got Chica uh, Tashana on. And amen. Um, amen. Uh, Eleanor Harris, amen. Amen. Good to see you today. Good to see you today. Love and kisses to everybody. Love and kisses. Gail Peterson, good to hey, see that. you. Teresa faithful Acton. Gail. Yeah, Faithful Gail. Faithful, faithful Gail. Gail. Faithful Teresa. Yep, Faithful <laughs> Teresa. Faithful Teresa. And that's faithful why the Lord is going to it's bless, bless them, many. Jackie. He's going, he's going to bless them for their faithfulness to, mm -hmm. um, to him and to spreading the joy and sunshine of the Lord and getting this show out. Um, we also have our, our own Richard Daryl Nichols is watching amen evie is watching amen roxy now roxy listen roxy is there um we know arizona listen i uh and and y'all got a few few folks that's coming there i think it's tomorrow to mm. arizona mm. uh at, roxy i want you to stay in the house here Stay in the house and keep a prayer on your lips, girl. Keep a prayer on your lips. Um, <laughs> Lena Brown is watching. Amen. Amen. Call him up. Uh, Pam Baker said, call him up is the only song that went on for about 20 minutes at a concert we did in the 80s. The <laughs> congregation wouldn't stop. Great song among many, might add. Amen. Well, well, amen. See, the thing is, this is what's funny about the song. It says, can't stop. <laughs> and so you find yourself, keep going. You just keep going. You it just says, keep going. You and so you just keep going. keep going. That's right. And then when they started adding each, each, as the years. I can't tell it. You can't tell it. <laughs> yeah, they they start start adding adding special stuff. yeah, they start, <laughs> they, they start adding on to it, child. And it went so. And it got longer. It grew, it grew legs and just went <laughs> on and on yes, and did. on and on. And Mike Sutch didn't know, he, he wanted them to didn't know how to stop that song. No, 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 can't Mike, stop. He, can't, he stop. can't stop. I like, oh, no, let's not sing that. Cause you I can't, can't tell stop. it, you can't tell it what the Lord has done for me. Uh -uh. Yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Shirley Johnson, our own Shirley Johnson is watching. Shirley, Shirley, Shirley. Linda Pringle is watching and Linda right. is the sister. Well, Linda is one of our faithful, our faithful, faithful listeners, and she is the sister of Keith Pringle. So, and we're gonna have her on as a guest as well. Um, we've also, I mean, it's 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 a lot of people out here today. Roosevelt Hamilton, Denise Clark, 
Um, hey, Casey. Oh, Roxy, she said he's here already. She's yet praying. Listen, we praying <laughs> with you, baby. We praying with you. Norma, Norma, the nurse at the end of our show is watching. Norma, the nurse, Norma Copley. We love Norma. We love Norma. Um, and we're just so glad we have um, just a, a good show lined up for, for everybody today. Um, and again, our special guest is Keith Kringle. And if you know gospel music, you know who Keith Kringle is. Um, mm -hmm. So <laughs> there's no ifs, ands, and buts. Hey, we've got um, Sherry Jackson Caldwell is watching as well. So we just, All right. we, we can get this party started. We can get this party. <laughs> we started on a high note, high note, high note. So Amen. we are just so happy. And I see that Keith is here. And so let's see. All right. Yeah. Um, but we're so glad um, we met Keith years and years ago um, from um, our faith prayer tabernacle and Keith and his sister and um, Linda will will tell you that uh, her mom was just a great friend. Our mothers were great friends, too. OK, so um, and we just Miss Pringle was always very, very dear to our family. And we just want to keep that going with Keith and Linda. So what we'll do right now, let's um let's play another song. All right. Uh while he's coming on. And uh we'll be right back after this song. This is WVTC, the gospel radio station, right here in Detroit. Stick and stay. Today, don't try. 
right, all right, all right. That was I Feel Like Going On, written by none other than Bishop Andre Sunny Woods, who's on with us today. Hey, Bishop, how are <laughs> you? Good to see you. Also, we have uh, Elder Jeffrey LaValle. So we have the gospel heavyweights wow. with us today. Hey, Jeff. All right. And guess whose hand we're seeing today on the screen? <laughs> It's Hello. Keith Pringle. Amen. Yes, hey. <laughs> I don't know why people decide to call me. <laughs> Tell them don't call you, Addy. Oh okay. my God. They call me too while I'm sitting That's on the a air. Long time. On the air. And they just <laughs> pick up the phone and they just call you and just keep I know. On. And it's like you have to pray they strength in the Lord I as can, you hang I up on them. Lot. Amen. <laughs> as you hang up on them. So yes. how are you doing today, Keith? It's so I'm good blessed to see you. and I'm still standing. Thank God. God has been good going through this 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 thing in the world, but I'm still here, and that's the main thing about it. And we got to keep the you? main thing, the main thing. How I'm are you? Blessed and highly favored. I am well. All is well with me. All is well with me, and we're Thank good. God. We're here um, on the show, also with uh, Pastor Jackie. And um, we're, just, we're just glad to see you, Keith. It's been, it's, been, I, it's been a few workshops. No, the last time I think we saw you was at the 50th. Okay. Right here in Detroit. Yep. Yes. With the, yes. when the uh, gospel yes. music workshop yes. had the 50th anniversary. That was it. And you were <laughs> right. here. Um, but we right. always see you at the gospel music workshop. And we just always have such a good, good time. Mm -hmm. And we're just glad to be here. So how's it going? Well, well, you know, right now it's slow. Everything is slow, but I'm playing for uh, two churches here in San Antonio. Keeps me busy, and um, every now and then I'll do, a, you know, a uh, little concert. Uh, they call me as the legend Keith Pringle. I said, "Oh Lord, make me old," but I thank yeah. God for the calls. I thank yeah. God for the calls. But you, you got to move that hand, though. You got to move that hand. Oh yeah, there you go. Gotcha. <laughs> you know what? Y'all pray my strength. <laughs> and the Lord. Now, I'm going to sit this phone down, but I don't know what you're going to see then, so I'm going to hold it up. That, see, that's a sign of age. That's right. Yeah. Age. Okay. <laughs> but it's, 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 a, it's a good thing to get old, baby. It's a oh, yeah. good thing to get older because there's an alternative. A lot of people didn't make it. Millions didn't make it, yeah, but we are one of the ones who did. Um, Roosevelt Hamilton is out here, and um, Teresa Acton is. They're all welcoming you. A. Jeffrey the Valley, Bishop Woods yes. is out here. Um, yes. They all calling your songs. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I, perfect peace. No, no, I feel like going on. No, no, I can't stop <laughs> praising his name. No, no, I don't feel no way tired. They are calling these songs because yeah. you are really a gospel legend. I mean, but you know what? But, but Sandy, you know one of my, some of my favorite songs that I like. They don't play a lot with my whole heart. Oh, okay. Whoa. And and there's another song, and the Lord just put that on my spirit last week. You know, me and Donald Bells recorded a song. Okay. No, I didn't I'm know that. Just just, tell us about uh, it. Nothing too hard. Uh, there, nothing. Nothing that God can't do. There's nothing oh, God yeah. can't do. Okay, I mean, that's real. right. That's yes. right. That's right. And we redid the song for Detroit Remembers. But okay. yes, yes, Man. yes. That's right. There's not, and that's a beautiful song. Yeah, it is a good song. That's a beautiful song. Yeah. But you know, I appreciate you and uh, and all the announcers and people on the radio. I thank God for y'all playing my music. Yes, you, know, you know, even though it's old school. But it's I thank God. School, it's good school. It's good school. <laughs> it's though. good school. It's and good we have school. to make sure that we have to let the younger ones that's coming along know what the good music sounds like yes, so exactly. they can make some good music. Exactly. And well, see, just... what it is, Minister Keith, is, is yes, that the, the, songs, uh, the songs that we did growing up as a young adult, yes. <laughs> the, they were songs. Yeah. And they, they touched had, you. They had real lyrics. Yeah. And they ministered to you. They ministered to yes, the yes. hurting heart. Yes. Yes. The yes. hurting soul, the hurting right. body. They ministered to you. Yes. And so, so they, and they still 
sound just as good Thank and you. just Thank as you. fresh. Bless your little heart. <laughs> Well, they, I they mean, don't get on. no, because I mean, we Mozart play. Can't, don't get on. Beethoven we, don't get on. Mm -mm. Thank you. No, thank you. They're, it's, they're called classics. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. I like, thank exa God that he used. You know, I really thank God, and I do that a lot. Tell God thank you because he didn't have to use me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, uh -huh. and I was talking to Douglas Miller. We want you to hold him up in prayer. Amen. Uh, Amen. Been having Amen. back problems Amen. with these cysts that, in fact, that I have. He went to surgery on last Thursday, but I was talking to him on last week before he went to the hospital. And he said, Keith, you know what? There are three songs that they use at funerals. Going up yonder, perfect peace, and his song. What is that? Though the storm. Though yep, keep on, the keep storm on raging, my, my soul, soul is anchored. Is anchored. <laughs> right. I said, well, I thank God for the funerals. For the I funerals. Thank God. <laughs> As, that's right. And in our neighborhood, we call them funerals. So <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> so we thank God anytime that we can play your music and we thank God you're, you're, you're here. Um, yes. But now, a lot of people don't know that I was telling them before you got on the air, when I met your family at Prayer Tabernacle right here in Detroit. Yes. So you're 104 from Elliot. 104 Elliot. All, All right. right. <laughs> yeah. And I told him yesterday that, uh, yeah, he was playing. And they said, Keith was playing. Do you know it's people that don't know you play, Keith? <laughs> I used to go down there at Prince Hamburg, you know, they had an organ in the choir stand. They had one on the floor. That's right. And I, right. one thing I do remember, every now and then, Thomas Whipple would come by, Alfred Bolden would come by every now and then. But I went down there. When they didn't have nobody down there and get, start playing. That's right. They know nothing, but I wanted to play. Okay. And I started right. there. That's God right. will bless good desire. <laughs> yes, he will. Thank and he so blessed much. you and crowned thank your you. efforts with success. Thank and you. We, we thank God for that. Um, and I remember, you know, as a young girl, your family, Ma Jen and yeah. Linda, yeah. and you sitting there um, on the organ playing. And it was mm -hmm. just, uh, uh, just a, a fabulous time. And a lot of yeah. people don't know that you have connections right here in Detroit. <laughs> um, looking at some of the comments, um, we're showing that um, there's uh, Roosevelt Hamilton. Um, good to see you, Keith. Okay. Um, Chicago loves you too. Yes. Um, Richard Daryl Nichols. Hello, Keith. I think yes. your recording career In started. California. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think your recording career started after James Cleveland asked you to sing. I don't feel no ways tired. Was yes. that the moment yes. when Reverend Cleveland says, "Sing it for me, Keith"? Yes, 1978. Sing it. Sing it for me, 1978. Keith. Yep, but you know, and you know what I have for you though. What? Remember the interview that we did at one convention, and me, you, and Jay Callahan went up in some room, and we did this interview. I'm going to play it for the people today. Oh Lord Jesus! Yeah, it was a great interview. Um, Bishop Wood said, "Keith Pringle is the reason I started chosen after touring with him. Longevity okay. is the key." Amen. Amen. Bless you, Bishop Woods. Bless you, man. <laughs> yeah, we go back a long time. That's yeah. right. And and you know what Eleanor Harris said, play this little light of mine. And this little light of mine, do you remember when we did that one at the Prayer Tabernacle reunion, when we had the reunion? Mm -hmm. And I forgot all about the song. And yeah, you... This you little light of mine. Yeah, yeah. It's on YouTube. It's on my channel. Listen, you, you, I didn't you, sing it. yeah, you did. I did. <laughs> yep. You, Lord, you, just my mind. I think Bishop, Bishop, um, tossed you the mic, I think. Okay. And you know, you got you a piece okay. of the song. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, okay. It, it, it was yet. good. What you say? I, I don't remember. <laughs> I've, I've done a lot of songs and people say, yeah, you recorded that. I said, did I? You say, who? So I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. Amen. So going back to what Daryl, um, <laughs> uh, Linda said that oh, we Lord. shared the milk carton. <laughs> see, but not, don't, okay. Love you, Linda. I love Linda. So I love Linda. So you can't say nothing about my Linda. That's now just say, I'm praying for you. That's all. I'm praying for you. 
So, um, <laughs> but what we're going to do, let's see. Um, I have to, to get this video. And this is the video that we did. Um, I was asking you about um, No Waste Tired and okay. how that all got started. Came because, about. Um, what we want to know before we get to that, how did you end up leaving Detroit going to, you went straight to LA, right? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, I, well, when, uh, after school, I went, I was so impressed with Chicago. You know, back then, Chicago had all the, all the churches hot. And I wanted to go to Chicago. And with my little young self, I went to Chicago and I hooked up with Pastor Richard Hinton. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was there at his church. Yeah. And uh, he had he was good friends with Bishop E. E. Cleveland. I know a lot of people don't know him, but he was the mm -hmm. pastor of Walter and Edwin Hawkins. Okay. He came to uh, uh, Bishop H Reverend Hinton's church one time, and he was and we was eating after church, and he said, "Man, I need a musician." He said, "Cause Walter and Ed has got Oh Happy Day. There's nobody at my church." I need somebody. And so I said, California, you know, and I was just playing for the young people choir at Ellen Hinton shirt. I said, I'll go. I went out to Oakland, California and played for Ephesian Church of God in Christ. Okay. Then I, I stayed there for a couple of years and then I moved to Los Angeles. Okay. I don't know how I got there. I don't know what. what All right. and, and Jeffrey said that's Tremaine's uncle. Yes, it was okay. his uncle. What's her uncle? Yeah, that was yeah. Tremaine's yeah. uncle. So, okay. um, and, and I mean, you know, if we're going to tell the story, let's get the story straight. Oh you know my what God. I'm saying? Amen. 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 So, tell us, you know, you just said it, you left Detroit, went to Chicago, yes. and then you went to Northern Cal. Yeah, I went to Northern Cal, yeah. and then I went, then I went to uh, the Los Angeles. Well, okay. how'd you get, how'd you get to Los Angeles? Oh, God. <laughs> What'd you say? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember why I went to Los Angeles or what happened. I don't want to go to school there. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't not remember I, how I ended up in Los Angeles. I cannot remember. Cause that Ephesians a little over a year. And I can't remember. Okay, so, well, what we're going to do, this part you did remember, and I said, the spirit told, put it on my mind to get it on film. And um, what oh, I heavens. did, I, I put it on <laughs> film. And it's a great interview. The people love okay, it. Okay, um, okay. It's a great interview. And what right. we're going to do is watch it. Watch it. Um, it's a couple minutes long, but we'll, we'll watch it, and we'll be right back. So okay. this is, uh, you're watching the Sandy Rose Show right here, special at-home edition with Minister Keith Pringle. Can't stop praising his name. We'll be right back. We're going to play this video. Enjoy. So you also wrote, I don't feel no waste tired now. There's not a person that is living that is over, under, over 50 that don't know that song. <laughs> How did that come about? It was a line. I used to, I just had this one line that said, I don't feel no, I used to hum it on the way to the bus when I would leave work for years. And I, that, that's all them bus to it. And I would just sing it and I never worried about it anymore being added. And then I at a friend of mine's house on Saturday playing his piano. And the rest just came. It was real funny. The whole rest of it just all came from that. So when did you first sing it? How did Reverend Cleveland get it? Oh, he, he was friends with the Lord's Bear Campbell. He used to come here. They used to sing it all the time because I worked with them. So you taught it to who? To the Lord's Bear Campbell. And the Bears. I'm, I'm very happy oh. that he used my music. So I'm, I'm very glad of it. <laughs> So what did you what did you feel like the first time you heard it? Let's but, say on the I, I was happy to hear it, but um, I, it, it made me feel good. I didn't know it was going to do with all that it did, but the first time I heard it, I saw it something. I, I was blessed then. I never will forget it. 19 se September 1976, I started playing with James Cleveland. And of course, you all knew in 1978, we were 
recorded. Uh, um, I don't feel always tired uh, that we recorded live in um, Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, it's so amazing how uh, God opens up doors that you don't realize he done done it. I was sitting on the organ. And the thing about it is, the night before we recorded, my father passed. He called me to the phone. Back then we had phones in the lobby, pay phones. You know what I'm saying? Back in this day. We, um, they called me, I went to the phone and, they, and my, mom, my mother said, Keith, your dad died. We knew he was, he was real sick. I went back to the organ, played, and we sung it, and they got happy. And I never even at lived. But the next night, which was a Friday night, uh, church was packed, Salem Baptist Church. It was, they put people stand all around the walls. And he looked at me and said, sing it for me, Keith. Now, I'm so busy playing, right, because, you know, one thing about James Cleveland, and I admired, we had to watch him. No, I could not overstep the piano. The piano was the lead. These folks nowadays don't really know about that. The piano is the leading instrument. The organ accompanied, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm playing, and he looked over at me and said, sing it for me, Keith. And I came out then, and then the Lord just took me from there. But it goes to show you, and, 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 I, and I'm encouraging those that are sitting in the background, not doing anything, pray about it. And if that's God's plan for you, whatever it is, he'll, he'll open that door. <laughs> don't try to figure out, don't try to plan it. It, it wasn't planned. I never would have thought that I don't feel like this time will be one of, the, one of the greatest hits. And we used to get on the pro, we used to get to programs, and when we sung it, I sung the organ, but then I start getting off the organ. And, 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 and walking down the aisle singing it. Then James said, okay, now you're doing too much. <laughs> He's dead now, so I can talk about him. I love him to death. So he started pulling me back. One time I was on the floor, and I was singing, the folk were going in. So he, he ended this song. And I turned around, looked at him, and I said, you know, they laughed. They were laughing. But, but, but I thank God for that. I thank God for that, because he did give me a chance. Lord, right. have mercy, All Jesus. Right. Oh, I look like I was 90 years old. <laughs> Jesus. I can't remember. I can't I, remember what city we were well, in. I hope I look but, a little better. Oh, yeah. You, you look some, just fine I again. Some, I have some, yeah. <laughs> yep, you look just fine. You look just fine. And um, Roosevelt Hamilton said, and the Baird sister sang it first, uh, No Ways Tired at the Airy Crown Theater. So, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. So, but I mean, that's history for you, Keith. I, and <laughs> we were is. all sitting there saying, we know Keith, we know Keith. You know? <laughs> we, were, we were kids then. And we was like, that's Keith from Detroit. So, you know, but yeah. I'm glad that God kept me humble because I'm a people person. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of the artists, they don't want to talk to the people. They don't want to shake nobody's hand. They don't want to do that. You know, but people buy your albums. Come on and back now. then, you know, when they spend their money to you know, yeah, you need to take time, you know, to, 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 to thank God for the people that think that love you and buy your music. Right. And I will always do that. I'll be tired, but, but I have to go and shake the two of his hand and, and tell him God bless you and I love you. Which is that you have to go down the aisle and, as, yeah, and, and the on my way out. Say, shake hands all the way out the on door. On my way out to the car. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> she, she said we shook hands all the way yeah. out the door. So, yeah, um, yeah, so now you were at West A as well? Yes, when, when, I, went, when I went to Los Angeles, uh, and I, went to, I started at first at City College in 71. I started playing at West Angeles in 73. 73. Um, uh, Pastor Blake needed a musician, and I went, I went and tried out. I played wow. at West Angeles until 19... Listen, I started with Jaden Cleveland in 76. I think I stopped playing at West Angeles at the end of 76 because he wanted to take me on the road. Um, I love I love Bishop Blake, but he was upset with me. Jesus, he was upset <laughs> with me. He didn't talk to me for a whole month. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm what telling you. What did he say? Don't take, you, don't take my music. Don't take my music. But, but, that, but that was something in the plan. I didn't know that was God's plan. And after 78, 79, I started my choir. Mm -hmm. 
come across a community choir. And the thing about it is when I told the, the Cleveland singers that I'm going to start a choir, they laughed at me. Mm. You know, I said, okay, well, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But I wanted a sound that they got, had back east. You know what I'm saying? All uh -huh. these choirs. In fact, uh -huh. you know when the Lord spoke to me? I'm going to tell you this real quick. When the Lord spoke to me Take your time. in Washington, D.C. at the convention, I was sitting in my seat. And I seen all these choirs from New York and New Jersey just going to town. I said, Lord, we need something like that in Los Angeles. And God mm -hmm. spoke to me and said, if you start it, I'll be with you. Wow. And, th and, and that, that, that January of the next year, I started the Pentecostal Community Choir. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and those, those, those were um, just singers from everywhere, huh? They're from everywhere. Mm -hmm. From yeah. everywhere. And you had, you had different nationalities in the choir. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Yeah. God really blessed me, and I thank God. We still talk today. You know, Amen. Like you left. Yeah, yeah, we still talk. They still call me. They still call me founder. You know what I'm saying? And, and they send me birthday cards and all that kind of stuff. And I thank God for the love that we still, and, and when we talk, we talk about the old days and what we used yeah. to do. Yeah. But I thank God for that. <laughs> I thank God for that. So now what part did Ricky Grundy play? Uh, the first the year PCC. that the first year that I came in, started the choir, I was two musicians. I had Louis Monroe, who's gone on to be with the Lord, and Ricky Grundy. Mm -hmm. Okay, he wanted to be a part of my choir. Wow. And and um, oh my God, it just that brings back so many memories. Uh, when I first started the choir, the first rehearsal I had, I had thirty-seven choir members. Mm. Um, and, That's and, good. And this well, first rehearsal. It sure was. Because we had put out flyers and, and put out the word. I had 37 choir members the first night. Okay. Wow. That's so cool. how big did the choir get? We saw, we my saw 85. a pretty, yeah. My 85. Saw... My 85. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I had 30 tenors. Woo. <laughs> wow. I had 30 tenors. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So my friends and elders had the same. And you guys really made a name um, as far as singing. You you really, really made a name. Thank you and so one much. of the comments here that we have, uh, Lena Brown said, yes, you are very humble. And um, she she said that you and her, y'all took a picture together. And so oh, okay. you were humble enough to take a picture with her. Oh, God, her. yeah. Amen. <laughs> um, Bishop Wood said, Keith, Keith worked hard on the road and he pushed Renee Thomas out front when he needed to take a break. Precious memories. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, Jeffrey LaValle, Lewis. Yep. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Good uh, longtime friends. Yeah. And um, Mary Majors, which is Gwen, that, that was with Bishop Craig, she said, uh, Praise God. Uh, she knows Keith via the Craig brothers. Amen. Yeah. Blessings to you. Amen. Thank you. Um, so people, people have known you down the road, down yes. the years, down through the years, and you've always been the same, always yes. been the same. Um, let's hear some more of that good music that the radios refuse to play now. I don't know why, because they just are just crazy. Because they think it's old, you know, they always think the top 10 is what matters, but the oldies but goodies of music. But, 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 but you know, I think a good... DJ, a good radio announcer, ought to go back, mix that your covers, music up. Covers Play it all. Old, you got a lot of people that, that's right. a lot of people not young. You got some older people. That's you right. got people that are going through things. That's why they turn it on. You know what I'm saying? That's and right. a lot of times they want to hear something the way, take, you, take me back. Right. right. Yeah. And you want to hear the familiar, something yes. that you're familiar with. Exactly. And, and the, good, the new music now is good. It's God bless good. the young artists now. But sometimes we gotta go back. Yeah, and we're just, you know, we, 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 you know, it's nothing wrong with going back because again, no. like Jackie said earlier, um, they still play Mozart, they still play Bach, yeah, exactly. they still play Beethoven. Yeah. So yeah. there's nothing wrong with this, nothing yes. wrong with this. So I'm gonna give you a choice. Um, you wanna hear True Victory or uh, Perfect Peace? Whatever you wanna play. Okay. We don't hear both. Eventually. Well, we're going to hear it all. Play so well, let's go. Play it up. Yeah, we're going to hear um, right now. We're going to go with True Victory. And Jeffrey LaValle wrote that. Is, 
Yes, yes. We're at, that's why I said all the songwriters is on today. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we're going to play this song. This is True Victory. We'll be right back after this song. This is WVTC, the gospel radio station right here in Detroit. Amen. <laughs> He's coming back for me. What a day it's gonna be when I'll be going home for oh, long.
honey, y'all had to enjoy that because I did. God, I that did. Good. That was just. Oh God. <laughs> that Jesus. was good. That oh, was my good. God. Okay. Ooh, that was good. That was good. You, that God was good. You, you. That was good. Thank you, <laughs> Jeffrey Lavalley. And yes, you have you. the gift of interpretation because you can interpret a song. Yeah, and thank you so much. I just that that's just beautiful, just beautiful. Linda says she tried to hit everybody on your messenger. Girl, start a watch party, honey. Oh, start Lord a watch party. Oh, <laughs> yeah, let the you. let the children come on and see what we have to show them. <laughs> oh my God! Amen. Oh my God! Amen. We starting watch parties here. And um, <laughs> uh, Lena Brown said, "Can't remember what year it was between 2001 and five at the GMWA." It was the last night. California GMWA came up on stage, lined up, and it was dark. Then we heard the voice singing, "Thou will keep you in." That was in da and that was in Dallas. That was <laughs> okay. that was in Dallas. She and said she was. I thank never God that God used me because it took uh, almost twenty minutes for them to get it back together. <laughs> they started shouting. Yeah, and, yeah. And, I, I, it, white. It, it scared me. I must start crying. It scared me. Cause the folk were running them down the aisle. In fact, one guy was in the audience from New Jersey. He took his phone and was taping. He said, "Listen, what this man is doing." <laughs> and about four thousand folks in the church, in the place, running around yeah. screaming. He said, "This is what Keith Ringo's doing." It scared me. It scared me. After I got through, I went on the side. I must start crying. Yep. You dump yeah. the house. Dump Thank it. You. Just dump Thank the you so house. Much. Dump Thank the house. You so much. Ramon Perry said that was a life changing record for him. His favorite mm. on there is "Comfort Me." Mm. Yeah, thank you. Amen. That's a, Amen. See, that's that's what you want. You, you know, people to to say you sing well, you direct well, you write well. All of that is fine. But when somebody says life, you know, I was going, I was going through something, and it changed. When I heard that song, it changed my life. Yes. I was sick, and I got well because yes. I I heard that song, yes. and it ministered. To then, then you've done the job that you've yeah, been then, then appointed you've to do. That's right. Then yes. you've done the job. Yes. That's right. And you know what? During this season, we really, you know, we like to play a lot of good school here on this station yes. and on these shows. But um, one thing that we need to do during this season while we're in the house, and the Lord told me, have the people to sing. The world says that with this virus going on, that they can't sing in church. You know, the choirs can't sing, yeah. you know, but yeah. the scriptures, yes, you, you sing because you're happy, you know, <laughs> and you can't yeah. sing with the group, but I can sing in my house. So we're sure playing can. music that people can sing to. Uh, everything we sung, everything we played today, everybody knows all the words. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> right. They know Thank all you. the words. Thank you. Baby, they know all the words to all Thank of you. these songs. Thank Listen, you, so you you just you take some in. Daryl uh, Richard Richard Nichols said that Edna Tatum loved Keith Pringle. She always yeah. mentioned you and played your music yes. on her radio show. Tell yes. us an Edna Tatum story. Well, you know Edna Tatum was one of the greatest. She can talk. She can yeah. Talk. She can walk on stage and start talking and just tear the place up. She used to do our announcing when we used to have our choir anniversary for a couple of years. She um, was our, you know, our MC. And sometimes we didn't even make it through the, the, the concert, you know, because she had that spirit uh -huh. of talking. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know what I'm and, saying? And yeah. so we kept, we always kept in contact always called just like Rodina Preston. Yeah. She was a great yep. woman of God. Yeah. She, yep. she 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 they were always there. They were That's always right. there for me. And I thank God for that. Amen. God Amen. bless you, Edna and, and, and Rodina. Right. Amen. <laughs> and yeah. you know, because they poured into our lives. And we can never forget people who poured into our lives. Cannot forget and it. Right, you know, right. Um, yeah, okay. uh, Rodina Preston, Edna Tatum. Yeah. We play Edna Tatum on this station, on yes. this show, every time we start up. Right. Oh my God. Um, yeah, we play her every time we start up uh, because it's something um, people need to hear. 
yes, those words. Exactly. People yes. need to hear something that they can hold on to. Exactly. I, I don't need to, don't tell me about a car, tell me about God. <laughs> you know, yeah. I can get a car, you know, but yeah. tell me about God, you know, yeah. and what, who he is. Help me to meet him. But Keith, you just been I, I, uh, uh, just a staple in the gospel Thank community. You just a staple mm -hmm. in the gospel community. And every writer, I, well, you know, all of the good ones want you to sing a song. <laughs> I, and I'll sing it. Give me a call. <laughs> what you say? You be like Miss Cleo, call me now. <laughs> yeah, call me up. Call me up. Yep, I know that's right. And listen, folks, if you were at the 50th anniversary for GMWA right here in Detroit, um, you know Keith can still sing. Thank he you. can still sing. So call him up, book him up at your program, book him at your church. Um, and uh, Lamar Campbell. Yes. God bless you, Lamar Campbell. He said we grew up on him. That's right. That's, That's my true. friend. I haven't talked to you in a while, Lamar. Give me a call sometime, boy. What did he say? Call <laughs> me now. <laughs> call me up. Call me now. Call me now. No, but call I'm... me later. Okay, call me now. <laughs> no, don't call now. Yeah, don't please, y'all. Don't call me now. Please, I, please. Yeah, I had to turn mine down. But I just, you know, so what? where do you see... Like now that we're all in the house and, you know, I'm sure some people are at home being creative because the Lord has said that once we are able to get out the house, there are going to be some amazing things yes, that happen a lot of changes. in the house a lot of that's changes. going to come out yes. of this being in the house. So where, where do you see um, gospel music, uh, you know, the music going? Um, do you think, I mean, is it? Going to get bigger, bigger. I, you know, I really, you know, I, I really don't know. I talked to Ricky uh, Dillard. Um, when was the last week? Or what, what we call it, at least two or three times a month. I said, Ricky, Love what are you going to do, man? You got sixty or seventy voices. He said, Man, I don't know. You know, when they want to see new generations, they want to see the whole choir. Mm -hmm. But he's not going to be able to take the choir anymore. No, right now, not right now. He says, so he doesn't know what's going. I really don't know where it's going, but I hope we can come back to some mm -hmm. to, to to back to the old something old. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because that's the praise team ain't gonna do it. Oh no! I love the praise team. Thank love God the for praise the praise team. team. Thank God but for something the praise about team. About a choir. Mm -hmm. you know, so we just all we have to do is all we can do is pray. Because mm -hmm. you know there was and and suddenly there was a multitude praising yes. God. Yes. It was It was a big group. Yeah. But what are we going to do now? I don't know, know if we're going to praise. Somebody sent me something on Messenger. It was really funny how they're going to do back in the day. If you fall out, somebody said they threw a, a rope. Pull them <laughs> you saw that on Facebook. I see that thing. And then, and then when they shout, they're all moving away. You know, like he, they got, they got, you know. <laughs> The play, <laughs> right? Oh, you seen it? It's like, ah, no. Right. Oh my God! So I, you know, we really don't know. No, we, really we don't know. But I, I, I feel like there are people in the house right now sitting at their instruments, and they're writing. You know, they're writing choir songs. Um, yeah. they're writing songs that will move the heart. They're yeah. writing things that you know that a Keith Pringle can sing. Okay. You know, they're writing things that a mass choir yes. can sing together yes. because we're not going to be in here always. But no, but, you, but but listen, you guys, this is this is what's happening. You could still have uh, a large choir. For instance, if, if, if Ricky's choir is 60 voices, 50, 85 voices, it doesn't matter. What it is, you won't be able to go into a small space. Exactly. That That's going to be the significant part. If you, you want, talk. if you want my choir, then you're going to have to have a venue that can handle me spreading them out. You yeah. know, it's, 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 you got to be able to, you know, I tell people, if your, if your choir stands seat 50, you down to no yeah. more than 25. Well, I think what they're going to be doing for right now, they're going to scale back. God bless you, Jay Callahan. He just called me. <laughs> I had to pull, I Jay, pull it. I ain't I talk had... to you. I ain't talk to you, guy. Okay, that, thank you, Jay Callahan. Listen, you know, yeah. But yeah, they're going to have to scale back for, for right now. 
until mm -hmm. you know we come to some kind of understanding of what's going on. He's going he's going to have to take a group. Yeah, so, I saw I, I saw a church. Uh, 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 matter of fact, my 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 bishop's church there in Columbus, Ohio, on Sunday. Uh, I think they had in the choir stand maybe. Uh, I'm guessing maybe 25. There might have been that many. It might not have been that many, but every, but they will spread it out because they spread all over the place. Yeah, his, yeah. His his choir stand is a big choir stand. Right. Yes. And they will spread out, and of course, his uh, praise team still had mics. Okay. And they were spread out. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Um, you you did you you had you had somewhat of the, the choir feeling, but the bottom line is we we will not be in small spaces anymore. Yeah, you just can't. can't no. You have to you have to know wh where are you and how can you accommodate us. Exactly. Right. Right. But you and know what? I'm, but you know what? I'm, I'm really praying about our young people because our young people. I don't want them to get lax and staying true. home. You know what I'm saying? They they can yeah. stay home with the house shoes and got to come to church. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm praying that our young people will stay on board. You know, I brought to the Church of God in Christ, so you know, our young people are there. You know, what I'm saying, thank God we started to Zoom, and uh, uh, you know, they they're coming out because they're on the praise team. But but I'm concerned about our young people and our kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. you know, these are the the songs that the young people still sing. <laughs> Some of them will sing, do. call him up. <laughs> That's right. Yes, they do. But yeah, you know, do. Jimmy Dow told me one thing, and he said, "Saying do what works, right? Yeah. Do what works, you know. Yeah. And and if the song, you know, the song's gonna work, just do it. Yeah, it's gonna work. Yeah. Uh, we have a couple more comments. Um, Lamar said it won't be no more shouting circles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, have to probably run to the restroom and get it on in there. <laughs> you know, it's sad. I, we don't know. Or run outside you, to the parking lot. Uh, outside, outside to That's the parking right. lot. Get the yeah. shout out and come on back in to sit down. Yep, <laughs> come on back in, child, and your sat, special seat, as they say, and sat down. Yeah. Um, Richard said, when you come back to Los Angeles, he wants to be your manager. Um, oh Jesus, Roosevelt. Okay, said, when I come back, he can be my manager. Okay. Okay, right. Roosevelt okay, you said, got it. <laughs> Roosevelt said, thank you, praise team, but I miss the choir. Why right. tribute to Reverend Evans all day? You know, um, they were 300 strong every yes. Sunday morning. I need the choir song. I, wow. I, yes. Every Sunday. And that's what I'm saying with the workshop choir and with the, the, the mass choirs and stuff, because I love a choir. The bigger, yes. the better. Yes, I love yes. I, I love yes. a choir and I can't wait. Um, the Lord is just fixing us up and He's my, getting my our hearts. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He's fixing our hearts and we'll be back in there. Mm -hmm. um, Lamar mm -hmm. said that the choir will be so powerful when they come back. I believe that. I really mm -hmm. believe that. Yeah, this, we got something. To, we got something to sing about when we come right. back. We got something to sing about. That's when right. When they say how I got how over, I got over, uh -oh, I saw like back and wonder. How I made it over. How I made it over. See what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> honey, millions didn't make it, but we, oh, we will did. have a testimony we that we did. We, did. Yeah. we came through many trials and tribulations, That's a blessing. but yes. we made it. We made it. That's going to be powerful. We will get through this. Oh, yeah, um, we will. Teresa acting, she was commenting on you talking about the young people. She said, but the old people getting lax too. So, yeah. um, uh, Ramon said, what inspired you to do your first solo project? Oh, God. Let's see. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, and, 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 I, know we had, I, I know I recorded Call Him Up, and then I recorded When All Guys Children. And after that, uh, DJ Rogers produced that song. Um, I mean, uh, produced that 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 um, that album. What is that? I think I can remember. He came to me. I I really can't remember that. Uh, how that happened? 
I really can't, but I know he produced that album. And in fact, on that, I feel like going on the album, uh, the Winans wrote two songs. I belong to Jesus, and I'm so glad the Lord loves me, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, there was big help in it, and 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 I thank God for it. Didn't know it was coming. Didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know it was coming. It just all happened, and mm -hmm. I thank God for that. Amen. And Amen. then, of course, you know, the second album. You know, me and Thomas grew up together, and um, um, God. Were you I'm, instrumental I'm, in him coming to Prayer Tabernacle? Uh, uh no, he was playing for some Baptist church, and they would get out early, and then he would come by. You know, what I'm saying because we still be in there shouting, and he come by and get on that organ on the floor. Yep, he yep. would come by every now and then when he had the time, because it was just it was always a lot of mu uh, musicians just around. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I think the musician back there was Daryl Hardy. Yeah, 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 yeah which end up going out to Los Angeles. That's yes. right. That's right. Yes. Love Daryl Hardy. Love Daryl Hardy. May he rest in peace. Amen. Yes. Um, yeah, so um, Ramon wants to know that how did Tommy end up producing it then? Um, <laughs> what just, you come on, y'all. Y'all can't <laughs> ask questions like that. And I haven't had my dinner yet. Um, let's see. Um, God, um, after my first album, um, well, I tell you what, we're going to play um, another one of your songs. And this is a fairly recent song. This one is I Am Not Afraid. I really like this song. Um, and we play it um, on our station. It's in rotation. But this one is I Am Not Afraid. And while you're thinking, uh, let's see. They want to <laughs> know how did Tommy end up producing it? And uh, they laughing at you, though. <laughs> well, you know what? I <laughs> I, I, I remember Tommy had did Vanessa's song, did Vanessa's album, and and I and Bob's being friends. I said, Tommy, I would love for you to do an album on me. He got it together and called Rudy Stanford. You know, because Rudy Stanford wrote Perfect Peace. Right. Yes. Yes. Stanford. And he gave that song to Thomas for me to sing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm the first one. I know all a lot of the artists and sung it. But I'm the originator. Right. And he did, because the fact, it, and, and I, I was talking to somebody, and I'll let you play the song that, when I sung Perfect Peace in, in the studio, uh, I hit the lights turned down, and I, I hit that about four years, and mm -hmm. I hit the, hit the uh, music stand. I looked over at the, at, uh, out of the corner of my eye, Thomas Woodfield was standing up waving his hands. So I kept on singing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I kept on singing, but I thank God for Thomas Whitfield. Oh, God, man. Don't start bringing old memories. Play the song. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. So, what y'all want to hear? I'm not afraid of perfect peace. I was trying to. Do hold perfect off peace. On. Okay. We're going to go with perfect peace. Well, yes. thank you so much. This is WVTC Gospel Radio Station right here in Detroit. We got an interview going on with uh, Minister Keith Pringle, the legendary. <laughs> one and only Keith Pringle. And this is him singing a Rudolph Stanfield number, Perfect Peace. We'll be mm -hmm. right back after this song. <laughs> My soul, thou will keep you in. You remember that one? The same story. Just keep your mind. That's all you got to do today. I don't care what you're going through. I come to let you know, thou will keep you in. What are you doing? You're looking at a living testimony right here. Because I kept my mind staying on me. Listen, the earth is the law. And the fullness thereof. So 
Yes, sir. I know y'all was out there singing. I can hear them singing, yeah, Keith. Sir. I can hear them. Yeah. They was out there. All the audience oh, was out there singing, singing, yes, singing. And yes, let, let me say this before we move on. Julia, I can do everything but open up your email. I can't do that. Open your email. All right. And we have uh, Lamar Campbell said, <laughs> yes, you were. Jeffrey was like, yes, indeed. Yes, you were perfect piece. The legendary note that we all tried to do. Yeah, cause you you got the yeah. yeah. I was like, a little older better, now. I guess you I better hit, hit go miss. for that. You better go for that. And yes. then and then somebody clocked me. They said, mm -mm, "That's not the original." But you're right, and you caught that. But that was another version. Amen. Amen. Um, perfect piece. Andre Woods, Bishop Woods said, classic song, Detroit gospel music legend. That's right. And if you know all of your good ones, it, it, you, you yeah. have some good ones with Detroiters. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. We, I thank Jeffrey God for the Valley, we, we claim him in Detroit. Yeah. Thank God but, for every one of you guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rudolph Stanfield Jr., yeah. Bishop Woods, I mean, yes. you've had some good ones. Tommy Whitfield, yes. you've had some good ones. And right we don't forget Charles Nix. Uh, come on. Oh, just, oh, Jesus. Come on. I don't want to go see. I don't want to. I see. <laughs> see, y'all did see. Y'all let me have the keys to the car, and I had to go down that street. You can drive. <laughs> you, uh, we let you drive. We yeah, but see, y'all ain't supposed to let me drive. drive. That's yep, supposed to let me sit let in the back drive. seat and be quiet. Yeah. Um, I thank God for all those people. 
Roosevelt Hampton said, why did you do a remake? I'm old school. It's okay, but I like the original version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Amen. Um, Lamar says, so glad we are learning to honor those who paved the way and are trailblazers for what we are mm -hmm. here today. Thank and you. still blazing the trail. Still blazing. <laughs> still blazing the trail. Still blazing. You have blessed many generations with your Amen. music. And not many can say that. You're That's absolutely, true. he's absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Um, it's just beautiful. Michael Peters, praise the Lord. They all got their hands up in the air. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, Michael Peter said, hi, Keith. And uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Bishop Wood said he was up on his feet. <laughs> See? <laughs> he is. Yeah. Right. Hey, That's right. I can still sure do that every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, A. Jeffrey LaValle, he said, it has just been a privilege. Just been yeah, a privilege. Has. And Same here. I'm saying. We've got so many people that we are glad that the Lord put it on our hearts to just to honor and to recognize and thank just God to make you. sure that these young people know because if they yes. don't know where they've been how will you know where you're going and yes. this is this is i'm just these songs made sure i made it through so yes. i mean some of these songs that you know you you know you ain't gonna get through no trial hard <laughs> trials now you no. might get through a little trial, but right. these songs took you through tribulation <laughs> and persecution. got you persecution. See, they yeah. took you through all of that. When somebody told you your loved one was gone, honey, you went yeah. and found you a James Cleveland song and put that on and said, <laughs> "Lord, you know, help me out, help me out, help me." Well, and yeah. get in trouble, then you, and you remember the line: "God will make a way." Yeah, out of, the out way. of oh, yeah, that's right. Nowhere. Oh, yeah. And you, and and you said, oh, yeah. He's my oh, savior. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. And he watches night. over me. He watches me. That's right. Yeah. That's right. He watches and you, me. You know, and even now being in the house, and some people are in the house alone, <laughs> and it's, it's difficult <laughs> for them, but these are the songs that's going to take them over. That's going to get God. them through this rough mm. patch right up and through Thank here. Thank It'll God. get them okay. through. And we're so glad that the Lord inspired you to sing and connect, made the connections with you and Thomas Whitfield and Jeffrey yes. LaValle and, and yes. Bishop Woods and yes. uh, 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 Rudolph yeah. Stanfield, uh, Ricky Grundy. It just made the connections with all of these people. Yes. And look what we got, Reverend Cleveland. Yeah. Look what we have. Yes. Look what we have. Mm -hmm. So while we're on Reverend Cleveland, what, what was it like working with him? <laughs> I'm sure it was hot. Well, y'all know she it was she, rough, children. It's, it was it's rough about children. time for me to get off. <laughs> it's about time for me to get off the phone. That, that couldn't have okay. been easy. But no, I love Reverend Cleveland. I'm sure he was the man. Uh, and, was a lot, and, and before you start, Keith, a lot of people don't did not have the pleasure of I meeting, meeting him. Him. him at all. And there's a whole generation. Like yes. he died in like 91. There's a whole generation yes. of people yeah. that They're have no clue. Anymore. And we're depending on stories from you and others yeah. to help them to get to know who he was. Right. But one uh, thing Reverend Cleveland did teach me is that watch your audience. I agree. Because we used to go to programs and I, I, I'll never forget it. We were saying songs. And they would just sit there, and they would just sit there. And he'd turn around. He said, "All right, y'all, let's hit it." Stood on the bank, <laughs> and the ushers would come down the aisle, <laughs> and the fans were going. Purses in the air. But that's what they want. Listen, but you you all have to learn how to watch your audience, young people. You know that's it, called it, you ministry. Know, he, he you told me that if a song ain't working, cut it off and go to something else. Yeah. Because sometimes every song work. don't work at every program. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So you have to know your audience. You have to, you know, a lot of these artists don't want to come out until their time. You know, I used to go and sit in the back of the church. That's right. Because and I get, the, see, get the I, flavor. I how the flow is. Yeah. You know, if it's a sanctified crowd, you know, or if it's just, a, you know, so you have to know your audience. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm pleading to the new artists, know your audience. 
Go out mm. with three minutes before you sing. You go to mm. the back, they ain't got to see you. Mm -hmm. But learn your audience so you know how to minister to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, Rep in Cleveland always handpicked his uh, musicians and yes. he handpicked you. So yes, he did. what what do you think it was that he saw in you? Was it just, you know... Um... <laughs> uh, uh, listen, I <laughs> Sandy, God bless you so much. I'm going to call you after it's over with. <laughs> But the thing, but the thing of it is, is that by me playing at West Angeles, what happened was he used to have Monday night musicals at his church. Okay. So we would go by because a lot of times you have Gladys Knight there, or Patty mm -hmm. LaBelle will come by, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or some some artists will come by, or Ines Andrews will come by and he'll bring folks in on Monday nights. So, you know, I went to the I went to a program that one Monday night. think he dropped the connection so we'll um i i believe he can hear us um but we do have a couple more comments that we can read while he's getting back together with us mm -hmm. um and roosevelt god bless you he said thanks for your vision today love you i love you too <laughs> um, Michael Peters, your music kept a smile on my face when I was mm -hmm. going through a lot of time. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Bishop Woods said, thank you, Keith. I'm still getting royalties since 1983. Won't he do it? Bishop, won't yeah, he will? will. Won't he will, Bishop? Won't he, Won't will. he will? Won't he will? <laughs> he said he's still getting royalties, uh, 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 Keith. Yeah. So praise God. Um, and uh, Jeffrey Lavalley said, it's the Lord's doing and it's, it's marvelous. And uh, I, I, Lamar Campbell said, the founder. You know, when we saw Rem Cleveland, we could say he's the founder. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne Woods is watching and she said, Keith Pringle. Teresa, she said, yes, read the room. You're right. Read mm -hmm. the room before you start getting up to minister. You need to be able to read that. Mm -hmm. Well, and keep your eyes open so you can pay attention to what's going on. That's right. With your room, and I'm you, losing. Right. I can't you, hear. Yeah, can you, you hear, hear me now? Can I can you hear, hear you. Now? Now. Okay, so um, you were telling us um, a story about uh, being with, you know, just working with Reverend Clee. But he was good. He was he was good. Uh, he was very humble, believe it or not. Uh, a lot of times after he got through performing. He will go back to the, the dressing room and he'll just bust out crying. I mean, he cried so hard, they had to pull his shirt off, wipe him down. He'd cry like a baby. That's being humble. Mm -hmm. I mean, he would cry so hard, they'd have to get cold towels and all that on him. I remember that. Thank you. You know, because a lot of people don't know those backroom stories, yes. you know, yes. about how, you know, and they just think, you know, you walked out. Yep. I got them, baby. And yeah. you go back. And that's not yeah. the way it was. Yeah, and That's not the way it was. They walked back and they were humble, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, so mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and so you did a lot of traveling. Did you do a lot of car traveling back in the day? Huh? On the road, by like car. going on the road by car? My car. Yeah. Or did I you did with James Cleveland. Okay. Yeah. Um then I do with cars. No, only time I usually went in the car is when we went up to watch our Hawkins. You know, uh, actually with my choir, we went on the bus. No, I take that back. Okay. But no, I didn't do cars. I didn't do cars. I guess I thought I was something back in the day. Well, you were. You I, I jumped on the plane. You know what I'm saying? Up, he, hey, man, so we did that. But not was, too many cars. Like I said, we did that back in the day with Reverend James Cleveland. And, uh, you know, because we would go to city to city, you know, from, during the whole week, we will hit, hit a town. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you you know, because you were like, with cheers, everybody knew your name. Uh huh? Everybody knew your name. So, <laughs> oh, Jesus, have mercy. Yeah. So this is from a later um, album, a CD that you did. Um, this is I Am Not Afraid. And I just love the message in this song. 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and play this one and we'll be right back after this selection. This is I Am Not Afraid. This is Keith Pringle. When did you do this song? Do you remember? Um, what year? Eric, um, God. A while ago. Uh, a while ago. <laughs> I went, uh, 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 Eric, Eric Walford in Cincinnati um, wanted to do an a, a album on me and uh, we went in there and, and did this. And we started, we haven't finished, quite finished it. The things are happening. Um, and, uh, but we did this, I know we did a couple of songs with him, uh, but this was one of the songs that Eric Walford in Cincinnati did on me. Okay. And we had a couple more comments. Faye Maddox, she's saying, hey, keep my brother. Um, <laughs> Evie is saying, I'm so happy that I had the privilege of meeting Reverend James Cleveland through the, through Reverend Charles Craig on Dexter. Amen, amen. Yeah. So we're gonna go to this song and we'll be right back. This is WVTC, gospel radio station right here in Detroit. And we've got the legendary Keith Pringle. Nah, 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 nah. Well, I don't the Bible tells us that when we go through life situations, that he will be with us always. So don't you be afraid. I am not afraid. I'm not I'm afraid. Not afraid. My faith has held me. Most of all, God knows, he knows my name. My name. If he can call he can the call. agency, oh, no. and nature <laughs> obey. Yes. Not me afraid. Oh no, I know I, I know can. I can't not be. not be. You have to tell yourself afraid. that. Oh glory. Even through the valley. Even through the valley. And at death shadow. shadow. I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. Tell your situation that all I can not be afraid. Listen, God didn't tell us it was going to be easy. So expect some rain in your life. Anticipate sometimes pain. So I must encourage myself. Oh, Lord, I'm not, I'm not afraid. God don't want you to be afraid. He's got your back. I'm not afraid. God will see you through. Want to do it? Oh, Lord, I'm not afraid. I can't not be afraid. The Lord he'll never leave you. Thank you. He will be 
with you. I'm a witness that he'll never leave you or forsake you. So don't be afraid. Oh, see, I like that. I like that. Amen. I, like that. I will not be afraid. I like that. Even through the valley, yeah. I will not be afraid. Yep. It's just, mm -hmm. that, now, that song ministers. That song yes. ministers. Yep. That's a sleeper, people. That's a sleeper. Um, Y'all better get with that. Y'all better get with that one. Um, Say, Matt, I said that um, Jean and Darlene Hodge said hello to We All Love You, Keith. Okay, great. Thank you, Jean. James R. Smith said he is listening. James R. Smith. Yes, that's my, that was my, that's my director of the okay. Pentecost Choir. Okay. He yeah. said, tell Keith he's listening. Amen. Yeah, okay. And um, Bishop Wood said, Keith, East Tour planes and trains, we had a ball ministering. And yes, he took did. good care of us, too. Yes. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. Amen. Yes. And, Amen. And Rusty said, Henry Rusty Davis said, I ain't yeah. scared. I ain't, I ain't scared. scared. <laughs> I ain't scared. Oh I my God. shall not be afraid. I ain't yes. scared. I ain't scared of this virus. I am not scared, but I'm going to be yes. in the house. But I'm still not scared, though. Yes. I'm not scared. Right. I'm not afraid because he's the keeper. He Come yeah, on. amen. <laughs> so what's what's going on, Keith? I mean, you know, do you uh, are you does the church that you minister at are they having church on Sunday? No, we just started. We just started zooming the last couple of weeks. Okay. Okay. We're supposed to go in our first phase the first Sunday. Okay. Uh, we started to let the folks that want to come in. You know, they got all the seats blocked off the benches. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see who wants to come in. Okay. Yeah. yeah so they're going to take um, it little by little. Yep. Little by little. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I That's think this is, this is mm -hmm. a time of, again, relaxation, refreshing, yeah. um, mm -hmm. to get your mind, you know, because we were going like this yes. and passing yeah. like ships in the night. Yeah. You know? And the Lord said, still. Go home and sit down. Quiet yourself. <laughs> Um, yeah. what the song say, I'm going to wait on Jesus, stand right yeah. still and study yeah. myself. So calm, calm yourself. And he's speaking through this calmness. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and it's some, I'm telling you, it's some good songs that these Thank writers. You so much, guys. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we, we really, really enjoyed you, Keith. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah. And my darling, bless your heart. <laughs> uh, uh, and, and everybody that tuned in, thank God for you guys. Um, and just pray that we can get out of this thing. Mm. Amen. But, but but I'm still here. I'm still alive. Mm -hmm. I didn't, that's why I won't show the camera on me. I didn't gain a little weight. <laughs> Would you say you got that corona weight? <laughs> yeah, all I, yeah, all I do is eat and sleep and watch TV. Lord help us. I'm thinking just, about food right now. Yeah. Amen. But thank you, Sandy, so much. Thank you so much. Richard, Thank you. We love you. We in contact love you. with Sandy. Oh yeah, we we love you. And what we're going we, what we're going to do, we're going to get Bishop Woods, you, and um, Elder Lavalley. We're going to see if we can get uh, Pastor Stanfield. All of you all on one Zoom, okay. and okay. just let's talk gospel. Let's let, talk let, let gospel. me know when you want to do it. Yep, mm -hmm. we can get Jeffrey Lavalley. We can get on here and just yes. talk. Mm -hmm gospel because a lot of people don't know these stories yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of yeah. people don't know where gospel music came from it because came from it's not gospel. like the white music so much mm -hmm. that they took the time and wrote things yeah. down yes, they did. and mm -hmm. and we didn't do a lot of that so mm -hmm. um the lord had put it on my heart that's why every time i you know i, I had my camera because i'm like i, I listen i gotta okay. get some interviews because these mm -hmm. people are gonna know who these people are Mm -hmm. Well, I just want you to know, I have a Keith Pringle story. Okay. And oh Keith my. doesn't remember me. I'm a little sad that he doesn't. Most people kind of remember me, but he did. It's okay. What? But uh, Keith and I got a, we shared in a ministry together. I was the special guest um, uh, MC, and you were the guest soloist. Where? It's in Greenville, South Carolina for Larry McCullough. Yeah! Oh my God! 
Okay. I have, oh, I'm sorry. I got the phone. I got to hold the phone. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. That, it, it was only 20 years ago. It's okay. What'd you say? Oh, it was my only God. 20 years ago. Bless your heart. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't I'm, take it. I'm yep, yep. SMC and you and you and hold the rest. Was, I think hold the rest of the surprise later. I can't take it all at one time. <laughs> Bless your heart. And she's also a member of the Whitfield Company. Are you you? If you're not a charter member, you just about. I am a charter member. Okay, she's a charter okay. member of the Whitfield mm -hmm. Company. That was one choir. Oh, Lord Jesus, they can still sing. Yeah, yeah, they can Thank still God sing. We got a new release coming. It's awesome, Keith. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about it. Yeah. Uh, but listen, I want to say God bless you to everybody. Thank <laughs> you, you guys, for inviting me on. Uh, and 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 let's do it again. Let's keep in touch, everybody. All yeah. right. And remember yeah. that he will keep you. Yes, in he will. perfect peace. In yes, perfect peace. Amen. We're going to end. Lamar Campbell, we'll get you on here, too. Um, Bishop okay. uh, Faye Maddox said that I logged in late, but I enjoyed what I heard. Okay. Um, Bishop Wood said, yeah, he wants to come on because he's got stories to tell. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, and he said, no, ask, going, he said no, wait, okay, wait, wait. Okay. He said, ask Keith about his recording in Anderson, Indiana. No, see, now there we go. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm hanging up. I'll see y'all later. I got to go. <laughs> wait a minute. Keep telling me. Everybody got one of those. Yeah. Wait, everybody. Everybody. Lottie, yeah. Lottie you, and you, everybody. You've been in ministry any length of time. Amen. Yeah. Time. Keep Amen. living. You always have a story. Keep living. living. That's what, yeah. that's not that you said. Keep yeah. living. God and bless you guys. Linda, Linda says she love you. I um, love you too. I love everybody. They called me from the church. Um, <laughs> we got Bible class. I got to meet with the praise team. Okay. In a and what we want to tell everybody is that you can go back and watch this. Um, Amen. Share, share the video as far as you can share it because <laughs> this is gospel music history. Oh my right God. Here. And Thank so you please, guys. Thank you so much. Please, sir, you can still <laughs> see the video. It's better when you watch it live, but you can still go back and see it. Okay. Put it on Great. your page. Click like. I need everybody to click like and share. All right, and it's about that time. So let's go through and get some closing thoughts. Jackie, you have closing thoughts? I, I just want to uh, uh, tell Minister Pringle that we appreciate him. Thank you. Um, and I'm so glad you are still here. Amen. So, so, so many have yeah. gone on. So, many. so we have so many friends on the yes. other side of Jordan. Yes. And I'm so glad that you're still here and I can Thank appreciate you. Uh, how your ministry flourished. Thank you. And hearing your story, uh, yeah. some of these young people need to understand small beginnings, being sensitive to the voice of the Lord when the Lord said, okay, do you put your choir together and I'll be with you. Okay, now it's time for you to lead Detroit and go to such and such. Okay, now it's time for you yeah. to go. And hearing the voice of God and moving when God uh, brings an opportunity, when he brings it to you, Yes. Knowing that it, it it was the voice of the Lord responding yes. appropriately, and that's why you are where you are today. Yes, and I thank that's God. What, for and so I can appreciate that. That that's a you you had a you don't know you preached a word today. Thank you. And it is so, and so it is. And I received that. Amen. Love you. Love you so much. Love Amen. you back more. All right, Keith, you got any closing thoughts for us? Close. God bless you guys. Me. Keep me in prayer. Sure thing. Sure Love thing. you guys. But right. I'm still here. You still here, and I need you to stay in the house because I heard them saying that um, in San Antonio that there's, you know, the yeah, yeah, yeah. so we we're I'm praying God's covering. Yes, I'm in the you. house. That's why I'm eating so much. <laughs> Do not show up on my 600 pound life here. Okay, no, no, maybe about 450, but not 600. So y'all pray my strength to the Lord. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you too. We're, go. gonna, we're gonna have another show. Um, yes. We thank you for coming on. We thank give me a call. Our, we thank all of our guests uh, for coming on. Thank you, Jackie. God bless you, Juliet. You know I love you. You know I do. Um, and <laughs> we'll be back Jules. here. 
next <laughs> Sunday. Back to you too. Yeah, we'll be back here next Monday at 5 p.m. Okay, I'll try to chat with them. your favorite church girls. We love you, Linda. Uh, Linda will be on. She has a new song. So yeah, we'll she got a new single. Yes, yeah. Linda okay. Pringle. Yes. Yeah, we're going to bring Linda Pringle. She's going to have her show as well. So we yes. thank you, Teresa Acton, and everybody else for watching. Remember to like, share, and remember, being it's not being stuck at home. It's being safe at home. Yes. All God right. bless you. We love, love you. And night. there's nothing that you can do about it. Night, love night. You. Love you. Love you, everybody. Bye-bye. Night, Bye -bye. night. All right, Sandy. Love you. Love you, too. Night, night. <laughs> <laughs>
for listening to The Sandy Rose Show with your host, Sandy Rose. If you have enjoyed this broadcast, won't you consider liking and sharing this with a friend or family member? We'd love for you to share it on your Facebook page. Thank you for tuning to WVTC Radio Detroit. Remember to like and share this broadcast with a friend. We are WVTC, winning victory through Christ.